Welcome back to the Modern Rural Civilian Channel, you guys. My name is Mark, if you're just joining us, and this is my mountain spring sourced, gravity fed homestead water system. This is called a spring box or a silt trap. This entire gravity fed homestead water system is all based on this mountain spring water source that is tested potable and safe to drink straight out of the mountain. It's coming from a buried mountain spring source about 20 feet behind me. This mountain spring source is a constant cool 54 degrees and it runs year round, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And as you can imagine, it's some of the best tasting, mineral rich, ice cold, crystal clear mountain spring water that you've ever drank in your life. This green spring box is also known as a silt trap, and it's the first line of defense in the system that allows the fine silt particles to settle into the bottom of this spring box so that they can be cleaned out and bypass the system and not reach the cistern downstream. So the system is in bypass mode right now. I just got done cleaning all the silt out of the bottom of the silt trap, and I'll, I'll save that chore and show you guys in a future video. But right now, all the mountain spring water that's flowing into the spring box is leaving via this water line right here. This water line is piped underground and bypasses the 2,000 gallon concrete water cistern and all of the other portions of the water system that I'm about to show you. So in order to put the system back into functional mode, I've opened that ball valve on the left hand fitting that fitting leads downstream about 40 feet and enters into a 2,000 gallon concrete buried water cistern holding tank that keeps 2,000 gallons of ice cold mountain spring water on tap at all times. You can see these tiny little holes that are drilled into the filter tube. Those are what, once this overflow tube is reinstalled, all the water is forced to go through those tiny holes in the filter tube in order to reach the cistern downstream. And the water being forced through these little holes is what gives the silt time to settle in the bottom of this spring box. So now I'm gonna give you guys a complete overview of how this gravity fed mountain spring source water system flows downstream. Fresh mountain spring water flowing into the spring box here and being forced through these tiny holes in this tube, which we call a filter tube, but the tube does not filter any sort of safety for the drinking water. Like I said before, the water is tested potable and safe to drink straight out of the mountain. These tiny holes just simply are there to strain the water so that the silt has time to settle in the bottom of the spring box. Now we're gonna go downstream and I'll show you the rest of the system. We're gonna follow the water downstream as it flows through the tiny holes in the filter tube through this fitting. This is all buried four feet underground, underground. We get over here and it comes back above ground. All of this will be buried below the frost line at four foot depth before winter comes here in Idaho. But the water's traveling through this line, hangs a hard left here and flows into this buried 2000 gallon concrete water cistern. This is the same ice cold fresh mountain spring water that's flowing directly out of our mountain and through our spring box that fills this 2100 gallon concrete water cistern and then overflows out this fitting right here which turns into this overflow line right here the, the water hangs a hard left and then spills into this ram pump buffer tank next we're going to take the buffer tank out of bypass mode and talk about the ram pump portion of our system so this is the ram pump buffer tank, which also acts as a secondary silt trap. This is the ice cold mountain spring water flowing in from the 2100 gallon concrete water cistern. We're about to take this out of bypass mode and you'll begin to see this tank fill up with water. When the buffer tank's in bypass mode, all the water that's flowing into the tank is being sucked off the bottom out this lowest fitting, which travels downstream and bypasses the entire system and runs back onto the ground. That's how I get all the silt out. So the first step to taking the buffer tank out of bypass mode is just simply reach down and turn the bypass ball valve off so no more water can exit through this lower bypass line. Now the tank's gonna begin to fill. The next step to taking the system out of bypass mode is we reach down and open the ram pump drive pipe valve. This line feeds the metal drive pipe which operates the ram pump that sits in that pump house. 
Now that the buffer tank is full, all of the water that's entering into the buffer tank is overflowing out of the system once again through this overflow valve. It travels down the mountain and into the floor and into the floor drain in the bottom of the ram pump pump house. Now we're headed down the path to the ram pump pump house, which is the permanent home for my DIY hydraulic ram pump. This pump house will allow my ram pump to cycle through Idaho winters, providing four season off grid water to our entire homestead property. That right there is the overflow line that comes out of the top of the ram pump buffer tank. So all the water that's flowing through the system is now coming out this overflow line and flowing into this floor drain, which then leads over here through these overflow lines that return the mountain spring water back to the mountain like we never touched it at all. Before we get the ram pump cycling again, I want to give you a breakdown of the plumbing that you're looking at. This is the ram pump drive pipe, the steel drive pipe that I showed you that comes out of the bottom of the buffer tank. That's what feeds and powers the ram pump, that water rushing downhill. This line that exits the ram pump is called the delivery line. And that line is what the ram pump pumps the water up the mountain through 600 linear feet of water pipe, buried four feet underground, over 100 feet in elevation rise to the top of our property. In order to take the ram pump out of bypass mode, we're first going to open up the ball valve on the delivery line and then open up the ball valve on the drive pipe, which will begin the ram pump cycling on its own indefinitely, moving water up the mountain with zero electricity or fuel. So now we're up here at the top of our homestead property at our uppermost 2100 gallon buried concrete water cistern. The stream of water you see happening right here happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's being moved by my off-grid DIY hydraulic ram pump. It's moving through 600 linear feet of buried underground water line and up 100 feet in elevation rise to reach this uppermost holding tank. This water cistern, in turn, gravity feeds our entire homestead property. So all of the 16 frost-free spigots and stub outs for future outbuildings throughout our property are fed via gravity by this 2100 gallons of ice cold mountain spring water that has made it up our mountain with zero electricity or fuel. Yesterday was a heavy water use day for us. We refilled our stock tank swimming pool that keeps us cool during these hot summer days. And we also gave the garden an extra deep watering last night. So this tank is still replenishing itself, but when it's full, it overflows out of this fitting right here when it's full and it is piped underground down into our garden area where in time I'll dig us a small little garden pond to sit beside. It's hard to describe the sense of freedom that comes with having a fully functional mountain spring water system that runs off of zero electricity or fuel, you guys. Completely gravity powered, ram pump replenished. I'm sure you guys will have endless questions. I'm happy to try to help. Drop your questions in the comment section and stay tuned for lots more content based on this gravity fed homestead water system. Well, I guess I better show you full circle, this water coming back out, gravity fed out of the uppermost cistern and the water pressure and flow rate that we have.